AS3X Plus has taken the RC world by storm and many Spectrum users are thrilled to be using this improved flight stabilization system on a lot of their bind and fly aircraft, much like this E-Flight Erratics that you see here. And with the AS3X Plus receiver files now being added to the Spectrum Google Drive, setup and getting ready to fly has never been easier. You can take an AS3X receiver that is on this erratics, have it updated and fine-tuned with AS3X Plus ready to fly in no time. Again, many experts with Spectrum and Horizon Hobby have been flying countless E-Flight and other brand bind and fly aircraft and have been fine-tuning the AS3X Plus coding in order to create these preset AS3X Plus receiver files that are available for you to download and put onto your airplane and essentially eliminate the tuning and setup from the pilot. And again, it just, it makes things so much easier and I'm gonna be showing you all how to do that. Now, at the time of this video, there's not a whole lot of AS3X Plus receiver files out there because AS3X Plus is new. This update is new and a lot of the bind and fly aircraft are, as we speak, being tested and flown in order to create an AS3X Plus fine-tuned receiver file. Now, with that being said, there is one available for the E-Flight Erratics, so I'm gonna be showing you just how easy it is to have AS3X Plus all tuned in your receiver for that specific aircraft. Again, you're gonna have this aircraft flying in no time. Now, a couple things to note. So the first thing to note is that the receiver on this E-Flight Erratics has been updated to AS3X Plus. If you don't know how to do that, then linked in the description will be the AS3X Plus receiver update tutorial. So once you get to that point, you can continue on this video and I'll be showing you how to add that AS3X Plus receiver file onto this E-Flight Erratics. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do is go on Google and search Spectrum File Share Drive. And that should result in this article popping up right here that you wanna click on. It essentially talks about how Spectrum introduces the RC file share on Google Drive and just talks about it a little bit. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to go ahead and scroll all the way down past the tutorial videos. And I'm gonna select the go to Spectrum file share drive. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And at the top right here, now that I'm in the drive, you will see AS3X Plus and Safe Receivers model files. So go ahead and click on that. And as you can see, it'll take us to this list of the AS3X Plus and Safe Receiver files for select bind and fly aircraft. Keep in mind, as time goes on, more models will be added to this list. These are the three that we have right now, but again, stay tuned because many more are going to be added. So we want the erratics. So as you can see here, we have the erratics 3D flat foamy AS3X plus receiver file. So this is the one that we are going to want to download. So go ahead and click download and you will see that the model file is going to be added right here. So now that it is downloaded, we can open up the Spectrum Programmer app. So as you can see here, we now have the Spectrum Programmer app open, and we wanna make sure that this is on the latest version. So in order to do that, we can select Help about Spectrum Programmer, and we wanna make sure that it is on 3.9. That's essentially what the update is at the time of this video. Now, if you don't see 3.9 and you need to update, all you have to do is go to this link right here. So it is, if you search Spectrum Programmer app, you will see this cashfly.net Spectrum Programmer. So click on that and you will see the latest version right here. You can go ahead and download it. Again, keep in mind that you need a Windows 7 or higher computer. Once you have confirmed that the Spectrum Programmer is on 3.9 or the latest firmware, we can now go to our File Explorer and we'll wanna to go to our downloads and here you can see the AS3X Plus model file for the erratics. Now we can go ahead and just select this and drag it into here. So now that is in the Spectrum Programmer Beta. With the transmitter on and bound to the erratics and the battery plugged into the erratics giving power to the programmer cable, you should see this right here that says model mismatch. And it basically says that the model settings on the device do not match those on the computer. That is essentially because we have a fresh update and we essentially want to use the computer settings. But before we do that, we want to hit show all and if you go to other devices, you will see that the Erratix AS3X Plus model profile that we dragged into the Spectrum Programmer is right here. So we want to select that. And now that we have this on here, 
and it is highlighted, we can go down to the Use Computer Settings option. Now that you see this AS3X Plus model file is highlighted for this device, we now have the AS3X Plus model file on the receiver. You can now unplug the battery and also remove the programming cable from the receiver. And in just a matter of minutes, the E-Flight Erratix now has an expertly tuned AS3X Plus receiver file in its AS3X Plus receiver, and it's ready to go fly and ready to go be enjoyed with the improved flight stabilization system. So again, guys, it's that easy. And again, keep an eye out on the Google Drive for more AS3X Plus receiver files to be added. And again, just keep an eye out for your specific model because I have a feeling it will be coming soon if it's one of the more popular E-Flight or Horizon Hobby brand aircraft. So thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you all in the next one.